What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Trucking and Transportation Wannabe coming at you from the Hacienda out here in Colorado. Finally got home after being out a month and a half with uh, my trainer. It's gonna be here, I'm gonna be here for about 17 to 20 days. So some of you guys know, started off with my trainer, did our 30,000 miles, so I've already completed that. Decided to stay on with my trainer uh, just to get some more experience stuff like that so that's kind of where we're at now if I had to say how many miles I'd have it would be hard for me to say I think I'd probably be around 80,000 miles we just did 8,900 mile week uh, so we're knocking out the miles but listen I stayed on my trainer's truck because I wanted to stay on my trainer's truck I'm not forced to stay on my trainer's truck I will be staying on my trainer's truck for at least one more rotation uh, so I'm not sure how he, how long he plans on being out, whether that be a month or a month and a half, but I'll at least do that. I may upgrade to uh, my own truck after that. And the reason I'm not upgrading is, is it has nothing to do with me, you know, not feeling comfortable doing it, you know. Mainly, I mean, the number one reason is, you know, I'm, you know, I've dabbled, not, let me not say that, you know. I have complicated taxes as is. So being kind of in business and dealing with business taxes and stuff like that, I know that starting a business in the middle of the year or before the beginning of the year, if it's avoidable, is the way to go. So in my mind, I'm trying to think if I have to do it or if, if there's just some reason why I feel like I'd need to do it before the first of the year, whether that be me or my trainer comes up with that uh, reason, uh, I may stay on till uh, January 1st just to start that out cleanly at the beginning of the year, especially with everything else I have going on with uh, taxes and stuff like that. So... Uh, you know, I'm not tied to the truck. I mean, it would be nice to, uh, you know, get like some snow action uh, driving in. Uh, not that I'm afraid to drive in the snow. I live in Colorado, so I know driving a truck in the snow, driving a car in the snow isn't the same, but I just don't have that fear of snow like uh, some people may have. Uh, you know, reasons why I may get off before January, like I said, would be if either me or my trainer just decide to to not do it I mean we're having fun out there so uh, that probably you know that probably won't happen from his end you know he's with a driver that's gonna put in the miles doesn't have to worry about getting killed as much as picking up a new student and all that kind of stuff and uh, me you know I'm getting training and getting paid you know fairly well for it so I'm good to go with that. Now, reasons why I might leave early would have nothing to do with my relationship with him. It would just be the pace that we're running at, you know, 8,900 miles. Uh, we've done some 69s, some 59s. I, th I think the lowest that we've done may have been the first week I was out, like 4,500 miles or something like that. So this pace may just wear down on me. Uh, to the point where I just say, you know what, I just got to get my own truck just to have a little bit more say in kind of the hours and, and things like that. Not necessarily the hours, but, uh, you know, if, as a team, that truck is going to be moving, especially our truck. Now, I know there's some people watching this video that were in my uh, training, my PSD training in Salt Lake City, and uh, they know, or at least I'm sure at least one of them knows, that uh, their training experience as far as how their trainer operates and my trainer operates are two totally different uh, experiences so we keep it moving it's hard to kind of sleep so I may just get it for that still run the same way as far as hours and things like that go but it's just easier to sleep when the trucks not moving and all that so that may be a reason I do it uh, having the uh, ability to uh, take home time uh, when I want to or have it a little bit more pinpointed might be a reason I do it but I'm really not rushing off to do that so like I mentioned I will be going lease I think I mentioned that earlier in this video and maybe a video 
uh, before that, so uh, I guess I did mention that earlier because that's part of the reason why I was going to maybe leave, stay on until the beginning of the year. So sorry, man. I'm still a little bit tired after being out there. My wife is giving me, gotta love her. She's giving me that time to kind of decompress and uh, all that. So big up to my wife. I love you. So, any highlights from this last little uh, round, this last month and a half I was out on the road? One thing I realized is I really don't like driving at night that much. I mean, I do it, you know, I drive at night probably 60% of the time. You know, we drive as the load dictates. So, he's not saying you're driving nights, and I'm not saying I'm driving day. You know, it's just however the load's dictated is how it goes. So, uh, the the time I drive is going to be dictated on how many hours we spend at a shipper, you know, those kind of things. But, you know, one thing I have noticed about driving at night is uh, where you're driving at night, I think, has to do a lot more with it than just driving at night. So driving at night in, like, some place, like Nevada... If you're going out there in Nevada, going out, headed out towards uh, California, that shit is pitch black. No lights around orient you. Uh, so to me, it's just a little, it's not my favorite place to drive in the dark. As a matter of fact, two funny things happened the last, well, this is what, a week and a half ago, we were out there driving down, uh, I guess that would be I-80 going into uh yes i-80 going into california so i'm in nevada now nevada has a lot of uh hills and stuff like that but they don't have any like uh you know six percent grade five percent they don't have any of those signs so i'm driving and i'm just chilling you know i don't have the radio on or anything like that sometimes i might have like uh books on tape on or something like that but uh all of a sudden i start hearing my engine brake turning on and i'm like you know what the hell is going on so I you know uh, look down speeds like you know in a prime truck 72 is rolling look down I'm going 72 miles an hour and I'm going down a hill but it did not look or feel like I was going down a hill so uh, that's one of the things that I don't necessarily like about driving in those pitch pitch dark places uh, another thing that happened uh, was I'm driving and uh, you know, which is kind of common in a prime truck. A truck passes me up. So I don't put the brights on when the truck passes me and when I'm saying you can get over the next lane. I, there's a button that it will kind of flash the lights off and then back on. So I thought I'd hit that button, but I accidentally hit the cancel cruise control button. So I'm driving along, chilling, and next thing I know, a truck flies by me and I'm like, that truck's got to be doing 100. You know, so about 15 seconds later look down at my uh speedometer and i'm going like 45 miles an hour so that was kind of funny but anyway uh people asking what i think about prime you know what i'm still good with prime have no complaints about uh pay you know if i want time off i could you know <clears throat> at this point i could just probably just get it whenever i want it uh They've done everything they said they were going to do outside of that rental car reimbursement, which if I stayed on them long enough, I would probably get reimbursed uh, for that. But listen, I'm not going through all that stuff over some stuff that I was going to pay on my own in the first place. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to stop by and give you guys a little bit of an update. I will be doing a video about why I plan on leasing with Prime. There have been some people that, you know, have been kind of, cracking on me a little bit about my decision to go lease with prime and you know what i'm gonna mention all this stuff in my next video but funny thing about it is when i went to start investing in properties and bought a couple you know what people were telling me not to do not to buy investment properties the funny thing about it was none of those people owned investment properties you know when i wanted to get in the mortgage business people were trying to talk me out of that you know what none of them were in the mortgage business so a lot of people that are telling me not to lease haven't leased. Some people have, you know, but uh, I'm just one of those people got to learn on my own. Anyway, 
I want to thank you guys for stopping by No Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I'm out.